Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing with this awesome Lenovo slash IBM X3850 X5 which has been sitting on my table for a little bit um, yeah this this is also sitting on my table should have moved that together with the scale so ah, clean server um, this server hasn't been in production for years it has been sitting as a backup server in a warehouse way too long and therefore it hasn't had a firmware update in forever even before it was just sitting well i'm not sure that it was upgraded so that is actually the plan for today i don't usually recommend just firmware updating a system just to firmware update it if the system is not doing weird stuff or not misbehaving or anything um, don't mess with it if it ain't broken don't fix it strategy when you're gonna do something new or drastic to the server and you have the time well it's a really good idea to to run that firmware update onto it so that it's up to date usually the, the vendors also come up with new ideas and stuff to do with the system so that um, it might be compatible with new stuff they might also have bug fixed something that you might never have needed and you might never need so in many cases that's not really a reason to take down a production system and firmware update it but while the system is between jobs that's a good idea to get it up to the latest and greatest but before i start firmware upgrading it i want to make sure that it actually runs so we're gonna power this up and see if it uh, boots and see if it loads the ESXi that is on it. And if it does that, well, we're good to go. Okay, I connected power to it. So now it's, uh, it's noisy. So let's, um, and it's blinking here. Can you see that? Yeah, you can kind of see it blinking. So let's power it up, see what happens. sound so yeah something on the screen yep it's uh, initializing the IMM down here and uh, these servers takes forever to boot so I'm just gonna we're just gonna cut into to it being done with that it's ramping up and down the fans in here it sounded really funny I don't know if it's figured it out now but it's like it sounded like a race car so uh, yeah, it takes forever to boot. Okay, you can kind of hear it. Yeah, it, it was. It's kind of funny. I said it takes forever to boot. So, and it, it's kind of it booted the IMM, and then it shut down and rebooted and started up again, and complaining. Eey. Yikes! Memory. Eh. Yeah, we'll have to have a look at that. Never mind right now, okay. Okay. It is booting, okay. It uh, it is showing that uh, it has a bad memory block or memory thinky isn't showing up. So I'll have to check that. But well, it runs ESXi 6.0.0, so that is all good. We are gonna try and install something newer on it. Yeah, it, it sounds, sounds like there's a beehive living in there. Okay, it booted okay. It uh, complained about the memory um, and still does. So it says memory error here. So let's let's open up the server and see how you check that. So you can see we have an error right there. So we are dealing with this bank, which is it's blue. So we need to power the server down before we uh, take that out. Okay, server has been powered off, so let's Take that off. Should we just use this now that we have it? There. And we have a press button here, so let's see if it tells us what RAM block we're dealing with. So we have two RAM blocks that it's complaining about. So what I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna swap them around. Uh, I would be very surprised if there's anything wrong with these RAM blocks. But uh, yeah, we could could have a memory error, so not totally impossible. 
there. And there. So let's pop that back in place that way. There. And that's not what the video is about. So let's go to the computer. To get this tool to firmware update all your firmware in this awesome IBM slash Lenovo server, you go to, um, well, you, you search up here. You can kind of see what I've searched for. Lenovo BOMC, and that stands for Bootable Media Creator. Lenovo is trying to change it to Lenovo X Clarity Essential. Um, that's rather harder to remember. I, I remember the BOMC. Um, so we go there and uh, I have already opened that and there is different versions available. They say something about an older version and there's the newest version and I have already gotten that and it's available for multiple systems here for, uh, for Red Hat and for SUSE and for Microsoft. And as I'm running Microsoft, I have gotten that one. So I downloaded that one and we have it oh, have it in my download library so we're gonna borrow that we're gonna cut it cut and we're gonna see c colon da. and Lenovo X clarity i have two older versions as well but well i just got the newest one now that we are doing that so apparently i'm doing this once a year so ish so let's um let's open the newest one I have a working directory here. I haven't deleted that. It um, it might contain a lot of drivers that are common for these servers. So I'm kind of just gonna let that be. Um, so what you do, you right click and you run as administrator. I found that to be the best. And it says this, yes, you have to continue. Go, go gadget. And it starts this dust prompt, which you should not shut down. There it is. We have done this multiple times and it's nothing special. So um, yeah, welcome to Media Creator. You can give it a name. We can also not do that. We can load a previously saved configuration. We haven't got anything. Check for the latest version of this tool. Well, we just downloaded it. I think we're good to go next. Here we have the different server models that we can firmware update. There's a new thing here. They now have their storage um, platform in here as well so that's kind of nice we are probably gonna be looking at the older IBM platform let's see if we haven't got a 38 let's see they are in order out here and we kind of have oh I need to go check out which one I have that seems to be this one I am really don't know what the other models are but well that's the one that we have so let's let's continue there we want just the updates next it will check the Novo support website for the latest driver but it will take this update express system package which is kind of a package that they have tested and made sure that the this, all the packages are good to go with this server and there's not too many issues so we're gonna play it safe Otherwise, we could pick the latest and the greatest, but well, I'm, I'm sure someone way smarter than me are checking that out. So I'm going to go with the safest. Next, uh, network access. Okay, next. Working directory. That's, um, that's where we put it, so that's good. Next. We are going to be making a bootable USB, so USB. And I have already put that in, so that is good to go. Should we just check uh, the E drive? That's a Windows 10. We're gonna format that. That's good. Write directly to it. Next. Unintended mode, that's fine. And summary, cool. And it will go get some drivers for us, cool. It will be a while about this. Let's see how many there is. Okay, there are 14 drivers for it. It, um, it didn't take any time at all, so apparently all the drivers were available in the in the working directory already so um, yeah cool next create hypocrisy it will make my usb awesome and so our bootable 
USB with our firmware updates are completed. Awesome. Let's um, put it into the server. So let's put that in there. And boot the server. I'm gonna be um, selecting the boot device so that I can um, select that I wanna boot from this. But, uh, power on. Okay, so now we press F12 to um, to choose what we want to boot from. And yes, it took a while to get there. So we need some USB storage. Do we have any of that? Or is it legit G? Yeah, let's try that one. Let's see. Press in. Let's see. Oh, so that wasn't it. Redo. Okay, we're here again. F12. So let's try and see if legacy only isn't the way to go yeah. irritating it's booting the hypervisor from inside back to the drawing board so still trying to figure out how to boot this from the usb uh, i was looking in the bias here to see if the, the usb was selected as not being a boot media i couldn't find that but I found that the different firmware here is uh, quite old, 2015, 2016, Dynastics 2014, and the FPGA package is from 2013. So there is uh, room for some upgrading, Core Root of Trust 2015. So yeah, still checking. Okay, I've been trying all kind of stuff and suddenly it worked. I have um, I put the USB stick uh, in the behind of the server also took out the hypervisor from in the middle of the server that didn't help anything um, but right now I, I went in there and I picked the um, USB storage and now it's actually loading so we're, so we're gonna get to um, installing some firmware if this turns out to be working okay so far so good begin okay it has can been comparing all the firmware on here seems like most of it is it's not that much out of date okay the integrated management module is going to be updated okay but otherwise it's not a lot of stuff that is so yeah so it's actually only the the rate controller in there and the integrated management module that is out of date um, I would have thought that more stuff was out of date. Apparently not a lot of firmware has come since 2016, 15, 16. Hmm. So the upgrade completed in there, but I was, I couldn't figure out why there was only, well, not that many updates. So I went and I looked at the specific updates and found that, well, if you want the newest updates, um, it's actually IBM that has them and not Lenovo. So I went and I downloaded the, uh, the IBM version of the BOMC. Uh, they kind of split up some way back in time. And it seems like that the IBM one has more um, recent updates for the servers. Unfortunately, they haven't been updating their program so I had to uh, have to find an old Windows 7 machine to actually run the program. But now I have uh, created a USB stick with the newest IBM updates. So even though the program is older, the f I do believe that the firmware versions that it has gotten and thrown on there is newer. So um, yeah, gonna try and boot that and see if that works. The, it's quite noisy until the IMM is booted up. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy that I normally have these in my data center and not in the living room. And there was like 58 updates here, the latest and greatest. And I had all kind of trouble getting it to actually boot from the USB here. So uh, I have put in another USB with 4 gigabytes. And I have been trying for a while. Oh, it's difficult to see down there, but there is this. Oh, you can kind of see this one but it did not want to see that one so but right now it's actually doing something so let's 
let's see what it comes up with okay it actually has some upgrades here where uh, the wifi bias for example it says that that is critical to update so uh, yeah it's gonna be doing that let's check if there's anyone filtered down yeah so it's another two updates one of them just being the the network card so i got new uh, firmware on the bios and on the network card and i feel like 10 years younger so um yeah it, it took a bit of fiddling to get some good firmware on here and um, yeah that ibm and lenovo thing they should really combine their effort there uh, it was really funny i went to uh, lenovo's homepage and i went to see what what firmware was actually the newest one and they directed me to uh, IBM's homepage for uh, downloading drivers there. So, okay. This is kind of one of the legacy servers that uh, Lenovo inherited from IBM at the transition of those two uh, companies making a deal of moving the IBM server division over to Lenovo. So, yeah, it might have been a bit messy there. So, um, I hope everyone is doing well here in this Corona crisis. And um, yeah, if you missed any of my old videos and have some spare time while in quarantine at home, well, check out the channel and see if you missed anything interesting. There's lots of videos. If you get Corona, well, if you start from video number one, you will be cured by sure when you're done and up to, well, this is video number 944. There is at least 15 days of continuous video there so uh, yeah if you're a patron of mine please remember to go over to patreon and see the weekly patreon update videos and um, otherwise thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye